Hey guys, it's Kurt back with you for today's daily recap. Hope everybody had a great day as the market uh, put together a pretty, pretty nice solid day. And we discussed this in the morning call saying that the market was going to be opening right at or just slightly below the resistance that's been keeping it from making these these new uh, all-time highs. And so finally we were able to get that. We opened strong. And as you can see, and as I said, it wasn't just going to be could we take out this area, right? I mean, that, that was very likely to happen, as I discussed in the morning video. What was more important was not whether we'd be able to take it out, but on a closing basis, would we be able to stay above it? And that is, in fact, what we got here today. So, if, you know, let me just draw this line here. So you can see we were able to close above this line and decisively so. So that's a good first step. Now the question is going to be, can we continue to see follow through higher at this point? Because if you remember, the you know, last time we broke out back in, in here, uh, end of January, we broke out, got another day of follow through, but then pulled back and chopped around. So we'll see if that is again, what happens here, or if we can get some extra follow through either way though, you know, if we uh, look, look back, you know, we had this wedge going on, depending on where you want to draw it from, draw it from there. You could do something like this, whatever the case is, we saw the volatility contracting. So these trend lines, they they don't matter as much to me because we, we can see what's going on. We can see where traders are looking. We were able to see the action and we saw that after yesterday was able to recover following the breakdown, it popped right back up. So that was that was the tell that said we should follow through higher. And we also saw strength in the queues. Not as much, but you know what? They've been stronger, so we'll cut them a little break. And and the fact remains, they too are strong. But it was also the Russell, which needed to get going, and it did. Right? It was down on this support and had a really strong day, closing right up near the top of this resistance. So it's going to be important for this to get some follow-through tomorrow as well. You know, you can see here we've got this downward sloping trend line where we've continued to get these lower highs so getting above this right and which by the way we did not get above here today but if we can get above it tomorrow and stay above it that's going to be very encouraging for next week so these are some of the things we're going to want to be paying attention to as far as the market goes now we also talked about the financials which needed to get themselves turned around they did pushing up here again to the top of the range so another scenario where it's it's a good step one now we're going to have to see if we can get follow through above this key resistance level because you know you see this this has been the line in the sand and while we have continued to get these higher lows this is the real level that we need to see traded through and closed above so we'll watch for that tomorrow and also mentioned ibb this morning uh, and how this needed to have a good a good day it did also so i mean across the board i mean we we saw victories in a lot of these these areas that we talked about the the places that we said needed to see strength they got it and so now the question as i've said several times here throughout this video is Will it now get the follow through to confirm this initial demand? That's really at this point almost more important than getting that first step because based on how things were setting up, it was almost like that first step was, you know, I don't want to say obvious, but it was clear that was the intention. Now, more importantly, can that intention be executed upon and get follow through? So that's what we're going to be watching for from from, you know, the market perspective and also these various sectors. Drilling into some individual names, obviously, Twitter had the earnings. We talked about it pre-market and it opened down here just above these lows here around 1650. 
right? And sold off right down to the bottom of this support. So uh, it really didn't do anything extraordinary. Obviously, the gap down was, was bearish. And it sold off in, in alignment with the bearishness of the gap. But it didn't do anything to really take out relevant support or, or at least major support. Okay, so now we see can this get follow through to the downside moving forward over these coming days? Or is this going to be a spot where people say, hey, you know what? Twitter's now uh, quote unquote cheap or, you know, I, I don't know if I want to say cheap, but, you know, it's at a discount at this point. And last several times it's been down here at this discounted price it's given some pretty decent return so will they look to step up again at that area or as i said is this going to be the time where it actually breaks we'll see what happens um and then also mentioned tesla how those who got um scott's 2017 note were able to see tesla get to his projected target of 270 so you can see that this basically opened right up in and around that area and hung up there pretty much all day so really nice to see that staying strong and if i just real quick show you the hourly chart you can see here it gapped up pushed higher and it's been consolidating so from an hourly point of view it does appear as though this can continue higher We'll just have to see if it can get over today's high tomorrow to extend those gains. So that's what we'll be looking for there. Um, other than that, you know, like I said, we, we definitely have seen some strength here today, which is encouraging. Now the question is, can it follow through? So we'll have to wait until tomorrow to see the answer to that question. Uh, until then, have a great evening and we will... Be back with you tomorrow for the morning call. Have a great night.